Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today we have something new called a Quick Win Wednesday. Um, yeah, like the name states, we uh, are going to try to post every Wednesday with a quick win in yeah development. Maybe Laravel, maybe React, maybe JavaScript, maybe PHP, but mainly Laravel. That's more or less my kind of thing. And I also created a sign for it called Quick Win Wednesday. Um, yeah. Let's dive into it. Okay, so the first one today is going to be incrementing and decrementing values in one line. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so I have a predefined project right here, which uh, includes a user and a wallet. Um, they are related to each other. Uh, as you can see, the user has one wallet and the wallet belongs to a user. Um, I've also created a custom command um, called give coins which we're going to use to yeah, demonstrate the functionality that I'm pointing out right here. So um, this command actually is yeah, finding the user with ID one, then grabs the wallet current coin amount and increases it with one. We're just going to open up real quick uh, Thinker. So PHP Archer and Thinker. And we're going to um, fetch the user um, just like this, uh, find user. Well, we get the user back, which is me with my email address and hash password and so on. Uh, and then we're going to fetch the wallet. As you can see, we also have already five coins in the, yeah, in the wallet. Um, when I will run this command, I will just will um, run it real quick. Here we go. PHP artisan CWB give coins. And if I fetch the wallet again in Tinker, you can see I have increased the wallet with one. But we can write this shorter, right? So if we just get rid of this and we get the plus sign before the equal sign, we save that and we give coins again. Then we can see if we fetch the wallet again, we have seven coins. But this isn't looking very nicely. It's, um, yeah, well, we get, grab the user, then we fetch the wallet current amount, we add one, and then we have wallet safe. Well, that's actually three lines of code while we can easily do this in one. For example, we are going to just fetch the user as we did before, then grab the wallet, and then we're just going to increment the current coin amount with one, for example. I'm just going to get rid of this. Save it and run it again. I have no errors. That's great. And I can see it also increased the amount of coins. I think this is very neatly. It's only one line of code. It's more read readable as well. And we have an the brother of the increment is the decrement. And we can, for example, say two. And just, yeah, I can comment this out. And yeah, the name giving, the given name is not correct right now. We're going to use the, the command give coins while we are going to decrement the coins. But just to demonstrate, this also works. Now we have six coins. So that's how I like to um, increment and decrement values in wallets and uh, product stock and so on. Um, I like that it's in just only one line of code. It's more readable. Uh, so yeah, that's my quick win for today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.